But it's time to learn how you can take a walk with some of our local stars. Yeah, a new exhibition in Winston-Salem pays homage to three local artists. Homegrown debuts this Thursday at the Milton Road Center for the Arts. It features works by James Funches, Curtis Hairston, and Shirley Hairston Holloway, also known as the Barefoot Storyteller. Well, joining us now is Dana Johnson. That's actually Shirley's granddaughter and Curtis's niece. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here, Dana. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for having me. Dana, can you first start by talking about what it was like growing up with your grandmother and your uncle? Well, it's talented people so close to you so you can be able to see how they just are in their everyday life. Hey, you don't think about them being like celebrity or famous even. You don't really consider that. You just see their personality. So it was it was wonderful. And probably the reason why I have the personality I have today. <laughs> well, it's very outgoing. Oh, well, that's awesome. Um, I, I was curious how their art also shaped or, or inspired you. Well, my grandmother being a storyteller, I'm a writer. I enjoy writing. I write just because I enjoy it, but sometimes it's not always fun to write, you know, your journaling. So um, I take that and I craft that into stories and it helps me to understand myself. It also incorporated my daughters into a story that I wrote for them, which was right now we're launching at the at the end of our um homegrown legacy, a celebration of James Funches, Curtis Harrison, and my grandmother, Shirley Harrison Holloway. So I just, I, I just pull from all of that and I, it just becomes a part of you. And it's very hard to explain, but I'm very excited to be able to share it with the community, what they were able to give to me. Yeah, it influenced your work, I'm sure, as you were just saying over time, um, but it, like all artists, your work is influenced by others. What would you say the local influences were that played a part in their work? Well, I mean, Winston-Salem itself is just steeped in so much, like with the arts. I can't really pinpoint, and I, I, if I could interview them, like if you had the one person you could interview yourself, then I would ask for those two to be there and I could ask that question to them. But there's so much around and so much richness. So when I'm there and when I'm in the city, that's what I pull from. And I can go back and I say, where did I get this influence from? And I have so many people in my life that I can pull from with, you know, my uncle Curtis, grandmother. So it's just a lot in there. I think they would do the same thing and that's what they were doing. But with Curtis, I would say the BBQ was um, one of the um, bands that he was a part of and going to Winston-Salem State. So it's, it's just so many themes and I'm overly excited. So if I'm talking a little bit too much, you have to slow me down a bit and just let me know because I have so much I'd like to share and just want everyone to come out and participate. July 18th, we're having the receptionist. It's from 5 p.m. The reception is from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., but it's open until 9. So I would say come and stay as long as you'd like. Enjoy as much as you can of everything that's there, including um, the artwork from James Funches and Everett Funches, the, which is totally amazing. It, like, it's going to blow you away. <laughs> it, it was very emotional for me to see a lot of the pieces. So I say come out, enjoy, and you can get those answers in the artwork, you know, what yeah. you're asking me. And that's what I kind of search for when I'm looking at the art. Including my own family, which I'm looking at from an outside perspective now, which sure. is so, <laughs> so amazing. So <laughs> it is amazing, Dana. I'm so glad that you and your family are getting to have this experience. But again, mm -hmm. it's also open to the public. Can you talk more about the artwork that is featured there in this exhibition and what you're hoping people get from it? The message you would like to leave with them? Well, sure. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. When I originally thought of um, the launching of our book, The Adventures of Courage, Faith and Prosperity, which I wrote, my daughter, Jade, is the illustrator. So the storytelling and art is just passing down through our legacy connected to my family members, including uh, my other brother, who is an artist himself, you know, Reese Johnson, that's so very close to me and didn't get the opportunity to share his world stage but he impacted me too so it just pulls all of it together and 
So I had that idea and we talked about it with um, Shannon Stokes, who was over the vice president over into the arts, arts council. I'm trying to say the website and the location at the same time. <laughs> arts council, um, which they're celebrating this on the fifth year anniversary. It's just a lot of things kind of culminating together. So that's why I'm bubbling over with excitement. But when I was initially thinking about it, I said, what better way than to see how legacy has impacted me and how I became who I am. And then to show the continuation of that is still alive and well, you know, and my daughter Jade just graduated from West Forsyth. We're waiting to see what she's going to do next. My, my other daughter, Jada, her artwork is going work is going to be presented as well. So you could see and then Everett, his his mother is, you know, she's 100 years old. That's like you got a legacy that's still active. It's still growing. It's not all just history, 75 years celebration, 100 years someone is there. Then you have the International Black Theater Festival. All of it's like a culmination of all the beautiful things that Winston-Salem really represents and the people individually so you can showcase their stories. And then we all are together in that and we can see each other through that. So. I'm sorry. I'm just <laughs> no, you're totally fine, Dana. Thank you so much for your time. It really is past, present, future coming together yeah. all at the oh, right place and right time. That. Yes, I appreciate that was so you. Much better said. Yeah, no, no, no. You, you said it perfectly. Thank you so much for your time this morning. And everyone at home, you can Thank see you that too. homegrown exhibition starting this Thursday on display in Milton Road Center for the Arts. And it's actually on display there through August 31st if you can't make it out to their opening reception oh on Thursday goodness. evening. So let's make sure we plug that one. You can find more details about that and the exhibition on intothearts.org.